Oh, I'm so excited. This here is my Bodal Tote store. If anyone wants to make me, by the way, like a neon Bodal Tote sign or like a glowing LED thing, uh, you know. Hey Fern, I know what we're gonna do today. While we were at WorkbenchCon this year, my wife and I had the absolute pleasure of meeting Zyla Foxlin while I was panhandling for subscribers. Hey. Yes, I, I actually did that. Huh. While we were talking to her, I asked her if she had any takers yet on that sign she asked somebody to build her in her shop tour video. She said she didn't, so I threw my hat in the ring. This is a video of me throwing said hat into said ring. Enjoy! I had done some signage before, and so I knew I could make something. I just was not sure what the end product would be when I floated the idea by her. After thinking it through, I settled on an LED light. I wanted to do a self-contained sign, but made entirely out of acrylic. I used my shaper trace of the graphic from the sticker that Zyla gave us of the Bodal Tote logo at WBC. Shaper Trace is a cool little product that allows you to take a picture of something and then create an SVG out of it, which is a file that you can use to import into your CNC or laser or other whoozy whatses. And I imported it into Illustrator and resized it. For the box design, I used MakerCase.com to generate a box to my specs using finger joints. I'll skip all that boring Illustrator stuff because it's bad for video retention, and I'd like to keep you watching. Now one of the big questions was, how am I going to put all this together? So, I reached out to Total Boat to see if they'd send me some of their new Total Bond CA product for this project, and they loved the idea and sent it right on over. Thank you, Total Boat! Sorry. Bodal's out? Here I am testing this out on some offcuts. I'll talk about this in a few. This thing's actually gonna be hanging in an actual functional workshop, so I need to make sure this is gonna hold up and it's going to last. I'm sanding each of the mating surfaces down a little bit with a detail sander to ensure a good bond. Quick tip to see if something is actually gonna adhere to something else. If you look at it and the surface is shiny, there's a good chance there will not be a good bond made. So you need to rough it up and add a little tooth to it, so that the adhesive has something to grip onto while it's curing. That is solid. Right. I just have to say, I am super impressed with how the C8 glue works. Damn. I taped each corner as I went and then used a 1-2-3 square as a 90 degree angle at which to hold the corners together with the glue, which only took a minute using our accelerator. If you're using CA glue at all and do not know about accelerator, look that up ASAP. It will change the way you use super glue slash CA glue. I only did three sides of this box to start. I needed to finish up the front as that needs to be locked in there, whereas the back I'll be able to slide out. All right, which side is up? I have this, which is a mask that I made. And this is just using this masking paper, vinyl masking paper right here. And I just put it on either side of a old mail box here so that I can have less of a sticky surface when I actually try to attach these things, which is gonna be now. The mask is cut out of the same design as the boat, lettering, and the front panel, so that it creates a template for dropping in the acrylic components accurately. And to ensure I don't flood CA glue everywhere and keep it under the lettering, I use a glue syringe to dispense tiny and accurate amounts of medium CA glue on the front panel after sanding down the inner parts of both the letters and the front panel to again give it some tooth to grab onto. I then do that seven more times for the other letters. Move it for speed! Go! They've gone to black! Oh! 
Now that I've got the letters setting up, it's time to tactile the boat. I do the same process as the letters, sanding the two mating surfaces so that the glue adheres to them better. Quick tip, always keep a bunch of weights around to clamp projects down. Doesn't have to be steel. Frank of Frank Makes uses small motors. Some people use a gallon of Arizona iced tea jugs to fill with water and use those. Bricks, there's so many options. I personally always keep an eye out at yard sales for little blocks of steel chunkage, and if I see they are a buck or two, I grab them. After letting the boat sit for a few minutes, I decided it was high time to add the blue front piece of the boat. I did not create a template for setting this on there, so I placed it freehand. for right there. Let's see if I can get that out. <laughs> yes. That came out great. <laughs> In addition to that little piece I showed earlier on the boat, I had a few other small areas that the vinyl masking did to get stuck on, so I needed to get those off. The big issue here is that they are super glued to the side. For that, there's a product either called Uncure or Debonder. I've seen it both ways. This magical fluid allows you to do just what it says, uncure and debond the CA glue. I absolutely love this stuff. You don't want to go too crazy with this stuff. It could debond the CA glue from everything, so use it sparingly. Dude, yes. Yes. And now, it's actually time to put this thing in its box! Three sides are glued together now, and they are just a little floppy, but holding strong. Once I have the sign in there, in the front groove of the box, and attach the last locking side to the place, it will be solid. Once the last side was on, I ran a bead of CA glue around the inside of the front of the sign and of the corners to really lock it in place. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sick, dude. I then just went around the inside and outside of the box with some unbonder, uncure to remove any errant CA glue, as well as around the joints and the outside to clean things up. And then wiped it all down with isopropyl alcohol to clean it all up, added the LEDs, and let me know what you think. and I was like, let's make some fire. Okay, I gotta admit, I just want to light shit on fire in my backyard, okay? And just because we're doing janky engineering does not mean that I let janky woodworking fly in this shop. So even though it's kind of a silly project, uh, I made it. Okay, maybe I do let janky woodworking fly because this method of putting the legs on is quite janky. However, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making that sign for Zyla, and as much as I hope she enjoys that sign, especially in party mode. If you'd like to also make your own Bottle Toast sign, you can download the SVGs that I used for this project for free from my store via the link in the description below. Also in the description below, you'll find a link to all the materials and tools that I used throughout this project. Thanks for watching.